Welcome back to West Texas View. Just before the break, I asked uh, Stephanie to talk to us a little bit about the facility itself, because that tells you why we can offer such a variety of entertainment opportunities that reaches the interest and the taste of anybody in the whole community and the whole Permian Basin. So Stephanie, tell us about Absolutely. the facility. So our facility, when you um, drive up to the Wagner Noel Performing Arts Center, and it's this great building that looks like it just popped up out of the ground. Um, you know, we, we hear that all the time. Um, it's just got such a neat structure. But when you're looking at the building um, facing that facility, you're gonna notice obviously the performance side, which is the larger side of the building. And to the right hand side, the building gets smaller on, on that side of the building. So the, the right hand smaller side of the building houses the University of Texas of the Permian Basin Music Department. Mm -hmm. So what a lot of people don't know is that we are owned by uh -huh. UTPB. Right. I work for a management company called SMG. So we are a, a management company that works for the university to manage that facility. Uh -huh. So that's also something that a lot of folks don't know. Okay. But within that capacity, we have students that go in all day and take their music classes. And then on that same side of the facility, we have what we call the Ray Great House Hall. So you're gonna see that come up from time to time as you're purchasing tickets. It'll say Ray Great House. So the Ray Great House Hall is a beautiful 200 seat um, room. It's a recital hall, hardwood floor, Venetian plastered walls, um, acoustically one of the best yes. spaces we have in West Texas. Um, so we have the symphony chamber concerts are held in that room. We've had small performances like Suzanne Vega has played in that room. We've had a comedy night in that room. Um, so just a, a great variety of performances mm -hmm. occur in that smaller space. Mm -hmm. So if you're looking for a more intimate mm -hmm. type of performance. Even a children's play. A children's, mm -hmm. a small uh, children's mm -hmm. activity might take place in there. Mm -hmm. um, it does not have a stage. It does not have a backstage. Mm -hmm. It is a flat floor recital hall. Mm -hmm. So that is something to keep in mind. Mm -hmm. um, but then of course, then we have the 1800 seat mm -hmm. uh, performance hall, which is the Wagner Noel. So we have those two spaces. Um, on top of that, we have the beautiful grand lobby that is two levels. No. <laughs> um, it's gorgeous limestone tile. Um, and carpeted upstairs. Um, so it's just a gorgeous facility. And the reason that we bring all this up is because our entire facility is a rental facility. So just the way a performer or a promoter, I should say, comes in to rent the facility um, for an event, so too can local organizations rent the facility and so too can um, smaller groups rent the facility. Mm -hmm. So if you have a company uh, Christmas party coming up or you have a um, high school reunion coming up, that Ray Great House Hall might be mm -hmm. a good space to host. Or even that. just the lobby. Or even just the for lobby, exactly, for, for that type of rental, which we've had um, wedding receptions uh -huh. in the lobby. So um, there are lots of variety, um, ways, a variety of ways to use the building and to rent this space. Uh -huh. um, now keep in mind that our availability uh -huh. is um, the hard part. Um, we are heavily booked um, because we do have so many shows. Um, weddings, we only book weddings June, July, and August. Um, so that's something to keep in mind if you're looking for a wedding. Um, we just can't do it the, the other months of the mm -hmm. year because we are so heavily booked with shows. Mm -hmm. But it's great to be able to have um, the spaces that we can use for different items. Uh -huh. And one of the things that, that you said but kind of glossed over it is that it is so acoustically perfect. Acoustically oh. amazing. Yes. Um, the, the, acu the acoustician that did the acoustics for Bass Hall in Fort Worth, which is one of the best uh -huh. um, concert halls in Texas, um, worked on the Wagner Noel. Um, when you come in to a, an event, it, acoustically, when we're talking about the sound and the way that it, um, that it makes its way into that room, it's, it's phenomenal. We've had performers, uh, Tony Bennett, who was with us, um, likes to traditionally kind of put down the mic at the end of his performance and sing a song a cappella, sing a song without any music and without any amplification, so no microphone. And Tony Bennett, Mr. Bennett, after his performance said, that room is amazing. So, you know, just to get that kind of feedback from performers who just are in awe of mm -hmm. how the room sounds. Mm -hmm. uh, it's, you know, a testament to all the work that was done to make that facility yeah. what it is today. And I think we should go back and say that, that the, the facility is three years old, almost, mm -hmm. and that from the very first, when you had Rod Stewart here who broke the ground Christened for the, the building, so yes, to speak. Yes. And, and then after that, the Gatlin brothers, and mm -hmm. it's just been a steady, steady 
a panorama of mm -hmm. kinds for everything from country and western to uh, the comedians mm -hmm. that have come in. Jerry Seinfeld yes. uh, is it has just has just been here, and uh, <clears throat> some of the others that that. Uh, you would think everybody in the Permian Basin had already seen this facility, <laughs> but you have to stop and think, no, uh, probably we, not. We have thousands that come through the building each year. Um, we are three years old. We'll be four years old in November, this coming November. Um, but I'm always amazed when we have a group come through for a tour or um, if I'm doing a discussion um, somewhere off, off of, of the, the campus, um, I will ask how many have been to a show at the facility, and it's always about 50%. Um, if it's a little bit more than that, I'm surprised. Uh -huh. um, so I know that there's still a lot of you that haven't had that opportunity to come out to the building. Um, and so what I say to that is, take a look at the website, go to wagnernoel.com. Uh -huh. I think what will surprise uh -huh. you is that the variety of what we have to offer is grand. It, it, we do have a little bit of everything. So our goal really truly is to have something for uh, everyone's taste and everyone's price point and everyone's genre so you know we'll have country and classic and Broadway and children's programming and um, we'll have some literary events um, you know so there's a very very large scope of what you can come to at the uh -huh. building um, so when we talk about price points you know you'll have everything from a $20 ticket to a family show to um, you know a hundred dollar front row, you know, or, or orchestra center, great seat for a performer. But um, almost every show has a, 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 a variety of, of prices. Yes, yes ma'am. So when you mm -hmm. go on um, to the website and you're um, clicking around um, t the seats, what's nice now, when you go on to widernerwell.com, you're going to see a seating chart that's going to come up um, when you go to purchase your tickets you will actually see the seats available and you can actually highlight those and it'll tell you how much that seat is. Uh -huh. And so it's great. You can actually kind of click around uh -huh. and find that price point and uh -huh. that seat that's best for you. And also, if you're wanting to bring a group, it gives you an opportunity to see if there's what a section? group of... Uh, mm -hmm. I had a, a person call me shortly after you were here before and said, we have a company with 100 employees mm -hmm. and we'd like to bring them all. Is there ever that much space? Yes, and, and there so is. I thought, but you're, you're, uh, you, we also must hasten to say that a lot of shows are sold a out. Lot of We've shows got to take quick. a break right now, but we'll be back in just a minute and continue this uh, conversation with Stephanie. And the next section, she's going to give all of this information about the upcoming shows. Stay tuned. West Texas View will be right back. 